Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Hopa Valley. In October, students from near Lyon, France, visited our school. Because of terrorist attacks one week ago in Paris, French police have been searching houses of suspected terrorists all over France. Weapons were found in several houses in Lyon. Students from a high school have been planning to visit French students in the spring and spend several days in Paris. However, because of the terrorist attacks, we do not know if Hubble students will be traveling to France or not. Here is French teacher Miss Brunel. Hopewell Valley and all of our French students would just really love to extend our deepest sympathies to the French people after this attack and especially to our friends and colleagues at the Centre Scolaire Saint Thomas d'Aquin in Mournant in Lyon. Two years ago, our football team won Hopewell Valley's first state championship. Friday was this year's football team's playoff game. This was the last game with any of the remaining 2013 state champions in it. And our football team had five losses in three years. Talk about a great record. Yeah, I know, right? Here's some video from Friday night's last game of the year. The game was a real battle, ending in triple overtime with a score of 24 to 18. Up, I just laugh, put my kicks up on they desk, unaffected by they threats, then get busy on they see that's how that shut down. Speaking of football, Wednesday night was the powder puff game. It was a big year in Hopewell Valley for National Letter of Intent Day last week and a really big year for Hopewell Valley Lacrosse. Eight of the 11 seniors who signed letters committing to the, play their sports in college were lacrosse players. Aiden Cage, Gabby Crivelli, Hope and Nutt, Kilmarie McDonough, Chet Bancroft, Wyle Healy, Tyler Cramp, and Pat Farina will all play lacrosse in college next year. Greg Gasparro will play baseball, Sabrina Gomez will play field hockey, and Forrest Swisher will play golf. Thanks to former Hovell teacher, Mr. Ashcraft, for the photos. And congratulations to all senior athletes. Tuesday was Student Council's Poetry Night. <laughs> Students gathered in the courtyard for a night of poetry and fun around the fire. Students gained public speaking experience and were able to share poetry. Jake recorded the video. Play. There are birds here. So many birds here is what I was trying to say. When they said those birds were metaphors for what is trapped between buildings and buildings, no. The birds are here to root around for bread. The girls' hands tear and toss like confetti. Buffalo Bills, defunct, who used to ride a water-smooth silver stallion and break one, two, three, four, five pigeons just like that. Jesus, he was a handsome man. And what I want to know is, how do you like your blue-eyed boy, Mr. Death? <laughs> Lastly, this week is Transgender Awareness Week. Here's Natalie Bates to talk about it. Today is National Transgender Day of Remembrance. This day was established after the brutal murder in 1998 of Rita Hester, a very vocal member of the transgender community in Boston. Though her death is what initiated the Day of Remembrance, Hester is only one among many others who is remembered. 
Not only do we acknowledge the deaths in the transgender community due to violence, we also recognize the frequent dehumanizing harassment and discrimination that members face on a regular basis. Even though today we have figures such as Laverne Cox and Caitlyn Jenner bringing awareness to the plight of those within the community and the struggles they face, members of the community still encounter many hardships and discrimination that can often lead to serious injury or death at the hands of others. At this moment, the members of Spectrum ask that the school shares a moment of silence for those in the transgender community who have lost their lives in acts of violence. Thank you. Today, the members of Spectrum and others in the LGBTQQIA+ community ask you to remember those who have died needlessly simply for being who they are. Thank you. Make good choices. And do the right thing, Hopewell. Have a great weekend, Hopewell Valley. Bye. <laughs>